Hello everyone, it's Brickmaster here. Today I have a LEGO City set to review. Yes, I do have LEGO City sets. Um, I don't think I've ever reviewed one on this channel before, but yes, I do have quite a few of them. Um, they mostly range between 2007 and 2011, which is, I believe, the golden age for LEGO City. I believe it's from 2006 to uh, 2010, 11. That's when I say LEGO City was at its height. Of course, people have their different opinions. This is just what I believe, though. Um, most of the sets, or many of them, are not complete. So I've been starting to work on them. I'll maybe do a, um, a rebuilding and organization of city sets just to show you where I'm at with building them. Uh, this is the first one that I really completed. This was totally apart. Wasn't Nothing was together at all. And... Yeah, I rebuilt it recently. I said, why, why not do a review on it? It's a very nice set. This one is the 7942 Off-Road Fire Rescue set from 2007. Uh, this set comes with a total of 131 pieces, was rated for ages 5 to 12, and cost you $10 back when it was in stores. Yeah, $10 for all this. That's pretty impressive, especially if you look at what you get today for $10. So, it's a very nice set. I do have quite a few fire sets. Yeah, most of them are not together at all. I have a fire station, fire boat, fire helicopter, but yeah, I'll get to those eventually. Um, but let's look at the instructions to be the first part of the review. All right, so these are the instructions. Again, pretty normal size for a set of this size. Um, overall, I think it looks nice. Um, it does have a total of 24 pages, including the back here, of course, as the parts list. Here it tells you to join the Lego magazine for free. I don't think, it, yeah, it was, I guess it was transitioning from magazine to club at this point. Um, here at the back, it tells you to buy a Lego shop at home. You know, they don't have the screaming boy saying win yet. Here's some classic Star Wars sets like um, the um, UCS, ATST, Exo Force, and some World City sets from 2004. I guess this is an old back. It, um, it does not have the box that tells you what pieces you need for each step, which makes you pay attention. But overall, pretty good instructions. Alright, so this is the fireman that comes with the set. Overall, simple looking, yet still very good in my opinion. Of course, he has a little fire extinguisher there. Uh, he has a silver helmet. I know that there's some that have white helmets, some that have silver helmets. I'm not sure if that has to do uh, with the age or what year they came out or... This one's supposed to be a higher ranking fireman, but who knows. He has some silver glasses, which I think are really nice. It was a very common face in LEGO City around this time, especially the earlier sets. I'm not sure if it's really been retired since then or they don't use it as much, but I know it was very common when I was collecting LEGO City. Um, has a very nice torso overall. It has a little walkie-talkie print on there. However, of course, since he's a fireman, you can put on his whole mask and gear and tank, oxygen tank. So I'll show you what it looks like now. All right, so this is what he looks like with his oxygen tanks and mask and everything. Overall, I think it's a really nice look. So, yeah, let's look at the vehicle. All right, so here's the vehicle itself. There's, of course, a um, pickup truck as well as a little trailer here at the back. So I'm gonna split this thing up, so I'll just show you the pickup truck first. All right, so here is the pickup truck itself. Overall, it looks really nice. It has a little, um, has a, looks, it's part of a hinge piece, but I'm guessing you're supposed to maybe tie a rope on there so it could pull something. Um, overall, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty, it, it's set a little bit higher off the ground. It's four studs wide. Overall, I think it looks really nice. It has two stickers, one on either side, and it does have the set number. So this is vehicle number 7942, just like it's the set. Here's a sticker up here. Some blue lights, of course, you know, alerting people that's coming by. It has a walkie-talkie for your minifigure, as well as a light. It has a, um, an aquamarine transparent um, windscreen. A, a lot of the sets at that time had that. I'm not sure if they do today. Again, I'm not very knowledgeable about present city. Here it has a yellow steering wheel. Of course, you can sit them in there. Uh, there is a transparent uh, back window as well, so you can see what's coming up behind him. So overall, I think it's a nice look. Back here, there is a little, um, of course, place where you can put supplies or something. 
And of course, there's also this little uh, hatch that can be lifted up like this so you can open the back trunk, which is nice, or bonnet as the some other people like to say. So yeah, that's it for the pickup truck. All right, so here is the little trailer. Uh, it has this, I'm not even sure what to call this, but I guess it's like a little kit of all the of different supplies. Here it has a little gauge or something. Uh, it says 82 or 20, depending on which way you flip it. Here's some lights. Here's a little axe. I think if you want to break into a house if uh, the fire's gotten too bad. Here's a chainsaw as well. Very nice looking. And of course that can sit on here. There's also some gauges here which have to do with um, the water pressure of the hose. So there's also another one of these uh, little hatches back here, a trunk, and you can pull out the uh, hose. Um, overall, it can go quite far, this far actually. And you can, of course, uh, give it to your minifigure so he can um, put out a fire. I'll take him out of his vehicle so you can give it to him there. You, of course, can put out fires. Um, another thing that you can, of course, do with this trailer is you can put a lot of the accessories away. So here on both sides, there are little um, storage compartments. Here you can put the oxygen tanks. And here you can take a fire extinguisher, put it on a clip there. Of course, you can put the, the mask on there. Everything fits well together and you, of course you sit that up there and yeah that's basically it for the trailer now I'll tell you my overall thoughts for the set all right so for my overall thoughts on the set I think it's really nice pretty simple for the most part with the uh, pickup truck itself but a lot of features at the back with the trailer which provide a lot of you know action for a ten dollar set that's something I always appreciate small sets that have a lot of things you can do with them again I have a lot more city sets coming on the way some just some names to put out there, the police headquarters. That's another one that should be coming about at some point. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around for more reviews because they will be on the way, and I'll see you all later. Bye.